Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So after about two and a half years of uploading to this channel, I realize I haven't done an EDC pry bar video yet. So I guess we're talking about EDC pry bars. Let's check them out. And when I say we're talking about EDC pry bars, I really mean we're talking about my favorite EDC pry bars, or at least the ones that I currently still have. Put these to the side, and let's take a look at the Lunamax Mighty Key. So the Lunamax Mighty Key is made of grade five titanium, and it is an eight in one pry bar. But you can see it's also shaped like a key, which really drew me to it in the first place, because I'm always about trying to carry the most tools in my pocket, and at the same time, carry the least. So I figured, why not? It's eight in one, it's small, it's shaped like a key, I can just put it right on my keychain. The main things I use a small EDC pry bar for these days is basically use it as a scraper, opening up a paint can, or in a pinch, a flathead screwdriver. And for the most part, it works pretty well, except for being a scraper, of course. And let's face it, they just threw all those other tools on here just to say it's eight in one because they're not very functional. But realistically, you can just throw this little guy on your keychain or key organizer and just forget about it. I think I bought this for like 18 bucks on Amazon. And by the way, I'll have links for all the EDC pry bars I'm about to show you in my description box below. But like I said, I don't use this guy anymore and I almost forgot I had it. All right, next, let's talk about the Gerber Shard. So most of you guys probably already know about the Gerber Shard. It's a seven in one multi-tool pry bar. It's made of stainless steel, has a titanium nitride coat it's roughly two and three quarters in length and weighs roughly half an ounce. Now on Gerber's website, they claim this is airline safe, but I haven't tested that and I'm not so sure if that's true, only because some of these parts right here are pretty sharp. So if any of you guys have actually flown with this, let me know in the comments below, would you? But like I said, it's seven in one. So we have the pry bar right here, a flat head and Phillips head screwdriver right here. And then on the pry bar here has a wire stripper, but it also can be used as a nail prior. And then of course you guys know what this is. It's a bottle opener. And there's also a pretty large lanyard hole and they're actually counting the lanyard hole as one of the seven tools But I've used the flathead screwdriver a few times and the bottle opener a few times I actually like that because this little divot right here your thumb fits perfectly right there while you're taking off a bottle cap I actually like this as a bottle opener and I've actually used this a few times to dig in some dirt to make a hole because it has this upswept hook right here that actually is perfect for digging a hole. And now one of my favorite multi-tool pry bars that I've ever carried, the CRKT Prima. And just like that Gerber shard, I'm sure many of you know about the CRKT Prima or even have one right now. It's just a handy little tool to have. I love the pry bar on the Prima here. And it works great as a scraper because it's angled no matter which way you have to scrape, you can just flip it around and get a pretty good angle on whatever you're scraping. And also whenever I was without my blade, this works great as a package opener because it has a pretty sharp tip right there. It works perfect for opening boxes, but I've never used any of these wrench functions right here or the bottle opener. I'm sure many of you have used this multi-tool wrench and probably swear by it, but for me, I just don't have a use for something like that. And I'll tell you what, this is pretty well made. It feels solid. CRKT used three CR13 for the steel on this. And even though that's a budget steel, for something like this, it works great. And I really love the stone wash finish on this. And one thing I really love is this quick release attachment point right here. So whenever I had this attached, to a lanyard or my key ring, just easily take it off by this quick release mechanism right here. But one thing I thought was super gimmicky was this glass breaker. So yeah, you can see right there that little tip is a glass breaker. So I've never attempted to break glass with this thing. I'm just not sure how effective this little guy would be. I think these still go for about 11 bucks. So for $11, you really cannot beat the value in the Prima. And now for the newest pry bar in my collection and maybe the most beautiful one that I have is this Millspin EDC pry bar. Millspin released this just a few months back and I haven't really had a chance to go out and use this yet because I'm still basically laid off thanks to the world health situation that is still ongoing in the world right now. But I'll be starting work next week and I'll be gone for about a month and a half. So I'll make sure I'll have this in my pocket and give it a nice workout. But I have used it once as a flathead screwdriver and just take a look at this tip here. This tip is actually really sharp. I mean, look at the point on that. So no matter what size flathead you have, I think this will still work great as a flathead screwdriver in a pinch. And it's manufactured out of stainless steel. Look how thick this is. That's a quarter inch thick stainless steel right there. And it has these really deep cut grooves right there at the end. And it acts as jimping for your thumb to rest on for whatever you're prying. And check out the engraving on the back here, guys. I absolutely love this pry bar. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, it does have a little attack 
attachment point right up here in the corner. So this is my least used pry bar, but maybe my second favorite pry bar that I have. And I think I paid about 55 bucks for it. And once again, I'll leave links below if you guys wanna check this out for yourself. All right, and now for my second least used, but my favorite EDC pry bar that I have, the Tactical and Portable Tie Breaker. This one's made of grade five titanium and is roughly four inches long. And it's super lightweight. I believe it's 1.2 ounces or 1.23 ounces. I can't remember. So this is why I like this tie breaker so much. It's just super lightweight, made of that grade five titanium. And it has very similar deep cut grooves as we saw in the Millspin EDC pry bar there. It just gives you so much control over the tip of this pry bar. And the pry bar tip here, even though it's not as sharp as the Millspin, it still works great for use as a flathead screwdriver or a scraper. And yes, this actually does have a pocket clip here. So it's just infinitely more convenient to have this right in your pocket than on a keychain. And just to give this more functionality, it actually has a quarter inch hex bit holder right there. So if you have any quarter inch hex bits, you can put one right in there and use this as a tool. And I believe you have your choice of four different colors too. And look at the stone washing on this body here. I think this looks great. And another nice touch right there on the back, it says tiebreaker. I love that. And like the Millspin EDC pry bar, this is also a recent pickup for me. And for the same reasons, it hasn't really gotten a lot of use, but I'll make sure I have these two when I leave town next week. And next, the pry bar that I probably use the most, and that is the key bar flathead slash pry tool insert. And I use this the most because it's just an insert right inside of my key bar Slayer Titanium key organizer right here. You can't get any more convenient than this guy right here. It's just right inside of my key organizer. And when I want to put it away, it just folds right back up goes right back in my pocket. Now this isn't the best scraper in the world because it's so small, but this is one of the best flathead screwdrivers of the bunch here. And it doesn't really add that much weight to my key organizer because it's made of grade five titanium. It's just super strong, super lightweight. And yeah, I did pay a little bit more to get that bronze anodization, but I think it looks great with that bronze because check it out, it matches the screws right here on a Slayer titanium. But realistically at $20, it's pretty expensive for what it is. But you gotta figure it's grade five titanium and for me, I'm paying for the convenience and functionality of being right on the key bar here. So after I bought this, I just put all the small other convenient multi-tool pry bars, I just put those in a drawer because this beat them all out. Because realistically, I don't need anything else but the flathead screwdriver and the prying capability. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the EDC pry bars that I showed you here today? Also, let me know which one was your favorite, or if you have any of these, let me know in the comments below your experiences with them. And like I said earlier, I'll have links below in my description box for everything that I showed you here. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!